Have you ever wondered if December 25th is really the birthday of Jesus? Growing up, many of us were taught that Christmas marks the birth of Christ. Streets are filled with decorations, Christmas carols play in every corner, and for Christians, it's one of the most significant celebrations of the year. But if we dig a little deeper, we find something intriguing. There is no clear evidence that Jesus was born on this exact date. In this teaching, I want to take you on a journey through history and the Bible. Together, we will explore how December 25th became recognized as the birth of Christ, what the Bible actually says about his birth, and most importantly, how knowing this can strengthen your faith. So, let's dive into the heart of the matter. 1. What does the Bible say about the birth of Jesus? The first thing we need to ask is, does the Bible mention the exact date of Jesus' birth? The short answer is no. Nowhere in the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John, do we find a specific date recorded for his birth. However, we are given important details about the event. In Luke 2, we are told about the circumstances surrounding his birth. Mary and Joseph traveled to Bethlehem because of a Roman census. Jesus was born in a manger, and shepherds came to visit him after being told by angels that the Messiah had been born. Interestingly, the presence of shepherds watching their flocks at night could be a clue. Historically, shepherds would have been more likely to be out with their flocks in the warmer months, like spring or early fall. In the colder winter months, including December, shepherds would typically keep their sheep indoors. This raises the question, would shepherds have been out in the fields in December, especially in the cold region of Judea? 2. The Historical Development of December 25th If the Bible doesn't tell us Jesus was born on December 25th, how did this date become associated with his birth? The answer lies in the early Christian church. In the first few centuries after Jesus' death and resurrection, there was no universal agreement among Christians about when to celebrate his birth. In fact, early Christians were more focused on his resurrection, which they believed was the most important event in human history. It wasn't until the 4th century, under the Roman Emperor Constantine, that December 25th became widely recognized as the date to celebrate the birth of Christ. Some scholars suggest that this date was chosen to align with existing pagan festivals. The Roman celebration of Sol Invictus, or the Unconquered Sun, was held on December 25th, marking the winter solstice, when days would begin to grow longer. By selecting this date, early Christians may have been attempting to replace pagan traditions with Christian ones, turning a celebration of the sun into a celebration of the Son of God. This doesn't mean the church was being deceptive. It was a strategic decision to make Christianity more relatable to those living in a predominantly pagan world. It helped people transition from worshiping false gods to the worship of the true God. 3. Does it really matter when Jesus was born? Here's the crucial question. Does the exact date of Jesus' birth really matter? Some Christians get caught up in the debate feeling disillusioned when they learn that December 25th may not be the actual date of Jesus' birth. However, the truth is, the date is not what's most important. The significance of Jesus' birth goes far beyond a calendar day. What matters is that he was born. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, came to earth, fulfilling prophecy and changing the course of history. He lived a sinless life, died for our sins, and rose again offering us the gift of eternal life. Rather than focusing on the exact day, our focus should be on the event itself, the Incarnation, God becoming flesh. This is the miracle that changed everything. As believers, we should rejoice in this truth every day, not just once a year. 4. Lessons we can learn from this understanding So, how can understanding that Jesus wasn't necessarily born on December 25th impact our lives as Christians? 1. We deepen our focus on Christ. When we strip away the traditions and focus on the essence of Christmas, Jesus coming into the world to save sinners, it strengthens our faith. We're reminded that Christianity isn't about rituals or dates. It's about a relationship with God through Jesus. 2. We break free from legalism. 
Understanding that December 25th is not biblically mandated helps us avoid a legalistic approach to our faith. Our celebration of Christ's birth should be based on joy and reverence, not on adhering to a specific date or tradition. 3. We recognize God's sovereignty. Even though the exact date of Jesus' birth isn't known, God's sovereignty is evident in how His coming was prophesied and fulfilled. Whether Jesus was born in December, September, or any other month, the truth remains. God sent His Son at the perfect time to redeem humanity. 4. We gain historical perspective. Learning the historical reasons behind December 25th helps us appreciate the context in which Christianity spread. We see how God used different circumstances, cultural, religious, and political, to bring about His purposes. 5. How should we celebrate? If Jesus wasn't born on December 25th, does that mean we should stop celebrating Christmas? Not at all. Christmas can be a wonderful time to remember the birth of our Savior, even if the date isn't precise. The important thing is the heart behind the celebration. We should use this time to reflect on the gift of Christ, spread His love to others, and remind ourselves of the true meaning of His coming. In the end, whether or not Jesus was born on December 25th should not shake our faith. What's most important is that He was born. God entered human history to bring salvation to a lost world. The birth of Christ is the most significant event in human history, and it deserves to be celebrated with awe and gratitude, whether we do it in December, September, or any day of the year. So, as we approach the Christmas season, let's focus on what truly matters, the miracle of the Incarnation, the grace of God, and the hope we have in Jesus Christ. The date is not the issue, the Savior is.